Smart Inc. is included with Smart Learning Suite and Smart Meeting Pro and is also available for download at smarttech.com. Whether you're conducting a meeting in your office or presenting lessons in a classroom, Smart Inc. enables you to write and draw on applications, documents, and websites on the interactive display just as easily as you would write on paper. To start using Smart Inc., just pick up the pen. Picking up the pen makes the dynamic toolbar appear on the screen. The toolbar is minimized at first, but when you tap it, it opens to present a variety of tools. If the toolbar is in the way, you can easily move it and carry on with your work. Smart Ink even remembers where you move the toolbar. Next time you pick up the pen, the toolbar appears in the same spot. When you use the displaced pens to write over an application, Smart Ink doesn't make the ink a permanent part of your digital content. The ink is just an overlay, which means you can select it and move it anywhere on the page. Unless you move or erase your annotations, the ink always stays in place with the content. You can minimize, move, or resize the window, and even scroll through the page. The ink stays in place. There's a lot more to the dynamic toolbar. Tap the icon to expand the toolbar and access the rest of the Smart Ink tools. Let's take a look at each one and see what it does. Here's the pen tool. Select the pen tool to change the pen settings, such as color and line thickness. If you customize the pen and want to use the same style later, you can add it to your favorites for quick access. Just open the toolbar and tap the star. You can also save stamps and other frequently used tools to your Smart Ink favorites for quicker access in the future. We'll look at stamps in a moment. The Dynamic Toolbar also provides a number of presenting tools. To take a look at them, select the Toolbox icon. This is the Spotlight tool. You can use a tool to draw attention to a specific area on the screen. Here's the Magnifier tool. You can use it to magnify certain areas of your screen. Here's the Screen Shade tool. Use this option to hide and reveal content on your screen. Next is the Screen Capture tool. You can use this to capture a picture of your screen. After you've selected an area to capture, you can save it to your desktop or in a smart notebook file. Screen Capture is a great tool to use to quickly save any notes or drawings you've made. This is the Ink to Text tool. You can convert your digital ink into editable text. You can use this tool to enter a web address into a browser if you don't have easy access to a keyboard. The last presentation tool is the Stamp Pad. This is a great tool for reinforcing ideas, awarding achievements, and so on. To use the Stamp Pad, begin by opening a document. Select a stamp and place it anywhere you want. You can even create your own stamp by uploading an image to the stamp. Because the stamp is also an overlay, you can select the stamp and move it around. If you find your workspace a little cluttered and want to erase certain ink, use your fist to erase the area. Or you can use the Smart Ink Windows Tool button and select Clear Ink to clear it all. If you're using a display with the Pen ID feature, such as a 6000 or 7000 series smart board, the dynamic toolbar will remember each pen settings. With this feature, you can select unique options for each pen and continue writing without interrupting the other pen selections. This is great to use when two people are collaborating at the board. You might also notice this hand icon. This is also a part of Smart Ink, and we call it the Smart Touch Inking Tool. It provides all the same capabilities as the pens, except you can use your finger or an accessibility aid to write or draw. If you don't want this icon on the screen, just swipe it away. A window appears confirming your choice and hides it. For more information about using Smart Ink, visit our support site at support.smarttech.com. You'll also find troubleshooting information and updates to Smart Ink. Thanks for watching.